In this video, I'll show the basic testing for the charging system on a 150cc go-kart. I will start by showing the basic components and wiring. I will test the system with a functioning machine and also the part testing itself. You should be careful as electricity can be really dangerous. You should take all precautions needed and take your time. If you're not sure, take a break. Make sure you understand before you do your testing. Ask questions in the comment section if needed. You can also use the contact form on our website at gocart.maximum.parts. Subscribe as more video will be uploaded. Give us some feedback on topics you would like to get covered. The battery, you have a positive and a negative. The regulator, starting from the bottom left and going counterclockwise again, the pin number one is going to the stator. The pin number two is ground. Pin number three is going to the stator again. And pin number four is the 12 volt positive. The stator, the green wire is going to ground. The yellow wire will go to the regulator. The white wire will go to the regulator. The blue white wire is actually the pickup coil and will go to the CDI. The red black is not in use. The first thing you will do to test your charging system and also the battery, uh, you'll put your multimeter to 20 volt DC. Uh, you will take the black lead, put it to the negative of the battery. The red lead will go to the positive of the battery. Now, as you can see, I've got 12.43 volts. So the battery is good. But now when I will start the machine, uh, the voltage should go up if the charging system is good. Now, as you can see, it went up to 14.4 volt, so the charging system is working. Uh, I will also do the other test. Like, I know my charging system is good, but for other people, if something goes wrong, I will also do a, a few other tests, and I will also do at the end. Um, if the machine don't start, you have nothing, you just want to test the component itself, uh, I'll put that also at the end of the video. Now let's say you do not have 14 volt on your battery. When the machine is running, uh, the most common problem will be the ground. So now if you check your ground, that will be this one coming from the stator and also this one coming from the regulator. Now you can just use any kind of wire big enough, like similar size to this one or bigger, and you can just bring it from there to the battery directly, do your test again. Uh, the next test will be the stator. For the stator, you can just remove your plug right here. In the video, I've got a joint between the two to make it easier for me. But now you can just take the white and the yellow right here, those two pin, and start the machine. The machine will run actually on the battery at this point. Soon you remove this one, but the machine will be fine. As long as your battery is charged, uh, you'll be fine. Uh, you don't run it forever, but just for a few minutes to do your test, you'll be fine. So you put your multimeter, like I will explain in a few seconds, 
And if you don't have any voltage there, that means your stator is bad. For the next step, we're gonna check the stator itself. So in my case, I just create my own plug. Uh, just this one here is coming from the stator and this one is going to the regulator. In this case, I just create kind of an extension just to expose my wire. You do not have to do that, um, but for me to make the video, it will make my life easier. So now what I did, uh, I put the multimeter at 200 volt alternative current. Uh, I'll, pick, I'll pick one lead, put it on the yellow, the other lead will go to the white. Now as the machine is not running, uh, I will get nothing. But soon I will start the machine, uh, we should start seeing some reading. So now we have 17 volt. Uh, and actually it should go down just a little bit uh, it just give me a little bit more power right after I start the machine and there you go now it's going down so now the way the stator work is on demand when th there's a demand of power the stator will try to push as much power as possible. Um, for the one of you that install those big light and everything, uh, this is one of the problem that you have. Actually, you're asking for more power than the stator can produce. So now it will peak and it will actually damage your stator or the regulator. Now after testing my stator, uh, in my case, I know the stator is good. In your case, if you have nothing coming out of the stator, mean your stator is bad. If you do have power coming from the stator, but the battery is still at 12 volt when the engine is running, make sure everything is plugged. That means you have two things, the ground wire. I don't know how many times I will have to say that, but the ground wire is a common problem. So check your ground wire. The next thing left will be the rectifier. Now this is all good. This is if your machine is working and it's sunshine and rainbow. Uh, in some case, you won't even have an engine running, but you still want to test those two components. And that's how I will show it to you on the table in a few seconds, how you can test those two without any power on the machine and disconnect all those, those two components. Now to test your stator, Let's say you took it out of your machine. Uh, you will put your multimeter to 200 ohm and you will plug one lead to the white wire, one lead to the yellow wire. And you should get a reading of 1.2 to 2 ohm. Uh, if you don't and you have continuity on it, the, it will mean that your stator is shut. Here's a little bonus one. Uh, the pickup coil, sometimes it goes bad. So now if you want to test your pickup coil, you'll put one lead on the ground and one lead with that blue and white wire. Put your multimeter at 200 ohm again and you should have a reading around 144 ohm uh, if the pickup coil is good. If you don't, your pickup coil is bad. Now let's say you took your regulator out of your machine. Uh, there's one little thing we have to do um, before we actually can test the resistance of the regulator. So now put your multimeter to 12 volt DC. Uh, now I'll plug the red wire here. Uh, the green wire will go to this lead here. Now, as you can see, I still have voltage in the regulator. This is caused by a little capacitor in your regulator that keep the charge. 
Now we have to remove that charge before we actually can test it correctly. So now I took a part that every one of you should have actually on their machine. It's a resistor that usually is used for the electric choke, but this time I'll use it to discharge the regulator. So now I'll put the case on the black one and I will soon I will touch this green wire to the red one, the, it will discharge. As you can see, we went down to zero. So now that's the preliminary to make sure that the test that you will do will be actually good. Now for the first test, you'll put your multimeter to 200K. You will put the red wire to the green wire and the yellow will go back to the black one. So now, uh, as I already know, the regulator is good. So now I have 100K and that's the value you should have or pretty similar to this one. Now for your second test, uh, we will get the white wire and the red wire together across those two lead. And in my case, I've got 108.5 and you should be around 100K. If you do not have that value again, sounds like a problem. That was the basic testing for the charging system. A more advanced video will be uploaded to cover more about the charging system and electrical components. The purpose of this video was to keep it simple and easy. You can also check the basic wiring RNS video we did, link in the description.